Let's evaluate the expression cosine of arc cosine of 5 over 13. Okay, I'm going to first focus on this inside piece here, arc cosine of 5 over 13. I'm going to picture that on the graph here. Remember, arc cosine is restricted to be between 0 degrees and 180 degrees. Okay, my possible angles are between 0 degrees and 180 degrees. Okay, so that would be here and here. Okay, and then cosine is positive in the first quadrant. So what I'm going to draw here is a little line that sticks out into the first quadrant. I'm going to make a triangle out of that. You can call this angle theta or whatever you want. And I'm going to label the adjacent side as 5 and the hypotenuse as 13. Okay, now sometimes, not necessarily in every example, but sometimes I need to find that missing side there. Okay, so I'm going to do that now, although it is unnecessary for this particular problem. I'm going to use a Pythagorean theorem that says a squared, or 5 squared, plus b squared equals c squared, which in this case is 13. Okay, so 25 plus b squared equals 169. If I subtract 25 from both sides, I end up with 144. I forgot how to write for a second there. 144. And then the square root of 144 is 12. Positive and negative 12. Uh, we're going to go with positive 12 because we're in the first quadrant here. Okay, so positive 12. Okay, great. Now, let's reevaluate, okay, or re. Uh, assess our problem here. We're trying to find cosine of this particular angle, okay? Cosine of that triangle. Okay, well, cosine is going to be adjacent over hypotenuse, 5 over 13. So my answer, simplified expression here, is 5 over 13. Now, once again, these two matched up. That will not always happen, so we need to work through it just in case we end up with one of those problems where it does not work out nicely like that. But for now, we're good. 5 over 13 is the simplified version of cosine of arc cosine of 5 over 13.